What are you feeling? Bones. Do you know anything about a missing person, somebody that just went? Her name is Lois Hanna. She just, just disappeared. This is it. This is the place. Do you want to know how she died? Yes. Okay. This week takes the rescue mediums to the town of Burvey, near the shores of Lake Huron, and to a 200-year-old farmhouse where many a ghost has been seen. The homeowner has suspicions of her own. There's something that's unresolved, and that I do feel very strong. I also have a feeling that somewhere there's something buried, and I don't know what it is or who it is. Yeah. The rescue mediums are on their way to investigate. They have been given no information whatsoever about the home they are about to visit. And even the name of the town has not been revealed to them until now. There was one time I was here, I was standing here on the stairs going down, and I started to slip, and somebody grabbed me from behind. Weather's gone bad, hasn't it? It's roaming I think it's followed it all the way from England. Christine Hamlet and Jackie Dennison are internationally renowned psychics. Do you think this is the house? Well, she said it was yellow, yellow brick. brick. Yeah. They spend their days and nights helping wayward spirits into the light. Yeah, we're at the right. Whoa! <laughs> it sounded like a lion. <laughs> it can't be a lion. There's no lion. No. In Canada. It must be your stomach. <laughs> I don't think it's that Jackie and Christine have encountered an earthly visitor. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, okay. I've got lunch. <laughs> Obviously, a wrong turn. The rescue mediums hunt ghosts, not lions. <laughs> Days earlier, the rescue mediums discussed their premonitions. A skeleton or something skeletal. And it could be a skull or... I, I'm, I'm not quite sure. They do feel something restless, and I think somebody needs help, and I just don't know how to give them the help they need. And a disappearance, somebody just went away. Yes, mystery. Yeah, yeah. and was never yeah. found. There is a mystery. Yeah. As another form of premonition, Jackie and Christine created these psychic drawings days ago of what they expect to find in their visit. This man's face kept coming over, so I had to draw him. I wanted to draw him in dungarees. All right, yeah. But then this shape came, so I don't know if he's got something to do with, with sport in some way. Mm. Not quite sure. I was sitting in my office, and I looked out there, and there was a man standing there in jeans and a plaid shirt. And he stood there for maybe a minute, and then he just disappeared. Lots of freezers in one place. Yeah. Somebody using freezers, you know, for the work that they do or something like that. A beauty queen pageant, and there's a picture in a newspaper of somebody connected to that. Also, the name of either Hanahan, Hallahan. It's an Irish sounding name, yes, Hannah. It is, yeah. This looks more like it. It does. Jackie and Christine hope they have found the right house this time. They are the rescue mediums, psychics who make house calls. Jackie, hi. Hello. Hi, Christine. I'm Mary Lynn. Hi. Thank you for inviting us into your yes. home. Thank oh, you. you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming. We need help here. We really do. The rescue medium sit down with the homeowners to discuss their premonitions. These are just um, premonitions and things that we've got prior to coming here. We feel there might be a um, burial ground or something near to here. Okay, because we, we keep on seeing skeletons and bones. 
um, a beauty queen. This girl's picture is in a newspaper, but it's not to do with the fact that she's a beauty pageant. Do you know anything about, can you, can you shine a light on a mystery or a missing person, somebody that just went? In this area, there is a missing this is a person. Female. This is a female. Very much, um, her name is Lois Hannah. Hannah. Yeah. The first clue to this mystery is confirmed. She's haunted me every time I put her away and, and try my best to not think about that anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah I, I get yeah. chills. And Lois has been missing for about 12 years now. I was writing in bed, mm -hmm. and, I, and I just left a pen and paper at the side of me, mm -hmm. and this was written down. And if you see that, it says Mill. Something not yet found mm. at the Grey Mill. No, there's a link with the missing With girl. this missing, it's yeah. di di this directly connect connected to her. Lois Hanna has been missing for 12 years. Could it be her spirit that has called the rescue mediums to the small town of Burvey? She needs to be put to rest. Yeah, you're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. Right, mm. we shall get on. The rescue mediums begin their search for the spirit of Lois Hanna. Oh and their investigation will take them to a strange, abandoned place. <laughs> the rescue mediums have been called to this 200-year-old farmhouse in Burvey near Lake Huron, but the story has taken an unusual twist. They seem to have been called by Lois Hannah. She needs to be put to rest. Lois disappeared from this area 12 years ago and is now a cold case file. Jackie and Christine feel they should begin their search for Lois inside this old home. But they have no idea what they will find. There are all these funny chairs. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you've said about chairs. Only lots of different chairs there everywhere. Is. Some of Christine's drawings are indeed connected to this house. There's your silhouettes as well. On the wall. Look. They are. Yeah. yeah. These visual confirmations let the rescue mediums know they are on the right path. Oh. Mm. <laughs> A strange odor has led Jackie to investigate the upper hall. Excuse yeah, me. Excuse me. I'm just, <laughs> just I've, no, I'm, I've just got to rule out some things, but I've just got to do this. Well, it's clear, would you? It, it's, um... Let me walk from the other side. Tasting and smelling. It's, uh... <gasps> oh, yeah. It's horrible. It's definitely something oh, in this part of the house. There it's, is. There is. It's very heavy. Well, it's like there's a male presence here. I feel a male presence as well. <sighs> What's in there? A strong psychic feeling leads them through the curtain. There's a door here. Really? Yeah. A door that's not a, a door. A door that's not a door. So there is. Another confirmation seems to be a psychic signpost leading the way. This door prompts Jackie to remember another curious door on the lower level. Let's get it on. Oh. Ah. Uh, so about a trap door. Oh my. I'll get a light and you can see what you're doing. Okay. Oh, my God. In the basement, they feel a presence so strong it is making them feel physically yeah. Yeah. ill. No, just round there. I just felt okay. so you felt, I really well, wanted to throw up. Okay, well, as you went round there and you felt sick, I felt that there was water somewhere. Right. There's water somewhere nearby. What's that door there? Where? There. Is that a door that's not a door? I Their search know. for Lois leads them to yet another door. A bit more sick now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, steps. Huh? Steps. Oh. Steps to where? It's a bit slimy. Slimy? Yeah. Why? Because it's been raining outside, Christine, and there's a hole there. Are we going back up? I think so. 
This psychic roadmap leads the rescue mediums outside the home. There's something under here, Chris. Under here? Yeah. What are you feeling? Bones. In this bit? Why do I get bones every time we go somewhere? I get bones. <sighs> Just lucky, I guess. It feels like there's, there's souls going way back. We keep getting this. I know, it keeps following us around. There's definitely something like that here. You really want to go down that way, don't you? Yeah, is... I know. I'm just drawn to it. Yes, so am I. Looks like we're going. <laughs> it does. They sense a feeling of bones underground the further away from the farmhouse they get. Using their instincts like a psychic compass, they are drawn to the nearby town of King Carden. The search for the missing woman, Lois Hanna, is widening. You think she was dead, though, when she got here? The rescue mediums are being drawn to an area that they have seen in their premonitions. You see that says mill? Yeah. No. The rescue mediums have been called to an old home in Burvey near Lake Huron, but their investigation has turned into a search for a woman who went missing 12 years ago. Walker. They have come to the town of King Carden to seek psychic answers to one of their more cryptic premonitions. Walker. I was writing in bed the other mm -hmm. night and I just left the pen and paper at the side of me. You see that says mill? Something. Not yet found. <laughs> Dead end. Dead end. Our kind of street. Our kind of street. <laughs> a town elder sends Jackie and Christine to an abandoned area that they think was once a mill. Is this where the missing woman, Lois Hannah, has been leading them? That, that house. Do you think this was a mill at one time, or there was a mill? Their psychic feelings begin to intensify greatly. What's this? Foundations. It's foundations, aren't they? Jackie and Christine have discovered the foundations to what was likely an old mill. Lois, if you're in this area, can you please let us know? We need some sort of a sign, just anything at all that you can let us know that we're in the right place, because we're trying to help. I just want to go further back there. Yeah, I do as well. Do you think she was dead, though, when she got here? No. I don't, either. No. I think that's definitely the foundations of the mill. I think you're probably right. I feel quite excited, actually, that you know, it's, you know, we're close. Yeah. We're just going to have a look at the old house now, yeah? Yeah. We need confirmation now. I think if we find uh, freezers and things there... Or anything else that we've had in yeah. the premonitions. This is just the other side of where we've just been now, isn't it? Yeah. The rescue mediums receive more confirmations that help build the psychic roadmap. What? Look at the shape. Hang on, let me get up Look there. Look at the shape. No, you don't need to go up. Look at the shape. Oh, the window. Yeah. Can you see through? Boarded up from the inside. They now know they are on the right track. Time. I'm looking for yeah. something. There we open it. Oh, it's a freezer. Let's stand behind the door and do it. <laughs> Freezer's here. This is it. This is the place. <sighs> oh, 
I don't, I, I, I just, I'm convinced. Lois has remained. Convinced. Okay, I don't need to see any more. This is yeah. it. Neither do I. This is it. So we're of the same mind then, that's it? Yeah. We think this is it. Yeah. This is where Lois we know this is, is buried at the back of here. Yeah. The rescue mediums are convinced that the body of the missing woman, Lois Hanna, is buried on the grounds of this abandoned house. They feel a responsibility to locate any of the victim's family still residing in the area to tell them what they have found. Do you want to know how she died? Yes. Okay. The rescue mediums feel that they have found the last resting place of a woman named Lois Hanna who has been missing from the area for the last 12 years. This is where Lois Hannah is buried at the back. They now share their psychic findings with Lois's two brothers, David and James. Due to the sensitive nature, the brothers request that the meeting be held outside of their rural home. So we just want to um, go through with you the things that have come to us clairvoyantly. I mean, we, we understand that you might be a bit skeptical, but we still need to give you these things just in case it can help. A beauty queen in the newspapers. Well, did she have any connection with a, with a beauty queen? Well, she was uh, Miss Midwestern Ontario. She was a winner she, of a... She, she was, was, yeah. She was a beauty queen. <clears throat> and, and she would have been in the newspapers. Oh, absolutely. She, was, she competed in Toronto okay. for Miss Canada. That would have been late 70s. Yep, late 70s, okay. about the okay. 70s. Somewhere in there. And we felt that she'd been to a dance or a, a social... The Locknell reunion was on that weekend and she had been there you know, for every dance, for every dance of it. And that was the, the Sunday night dance, I guess, was what wrapping up. That was the last place that anyone saw her mm -hmm. alive. A man that is not, that is connected, but is not in this area now. Mm -hmm. So the man that was involved with the murder of your sister is not in the, this area now. That's okay. Do you want to know how she died? Yes. Okay. We believe that she was strangled. Yeah. We also believe that she had something sharp that went through a windpipe. Okay. And that she knew the man who murdered her. The rescue mediums reveal to David and James where they believe their sister yeah. is buried. We, we also got other things um, as well. We got a particular shape of a window, foundations to a place, a mill. That's not there now. That's not there now. It's been knocked down. And freezers. Or we a kept freezer. getting freezers. And we've been to an area mm -hmm. today um, where there once was a mill. So we went and had a walk round and uh, we found foundations of a building that would have been there and an old house and we old said if we get same. a freezer here now, this is it. And we went round the corner and there's a huge freezer and we actually think that's the area it where your feels, sister It feels is. right. So you, th you think she's there? Well, she gave us the mill. Yeah. That started. We didn't even know whether there was no. any mills here. No. Um, and, you know, she gave, the, the, us, the area, she she? gave, she gave us the area, didn't she? She gave us the area and the things like they were like... We needed um, to look for. Mm -hmm. Things and that we there. needed to look for. And all those things came together in that place. The window, the freezer, the foundations. So all all's we can really do is give you this information. Mm -hmm. That's the best that, that you know, we can do. No, fair enough. Uh, and it's yeah. up to you whether you use it, but it, you know, we feel good about giving you this information because we do feel that it's definitely from your sister. Following the meeting with Lois Hanna's brothers, the rescue mediums are presented with independent research about the missing woman. According to the newspapers, Lois was last seen at a reunion function in the nearby town of Lucknow. She led a normal life in the town of Kincardine, but has not been seen for 12 years. The rescue mediums visit the old farmhouse one last time to show their findings to the anxious homeowners. The missing person, yes. mm -hmm. okay, that we know is female. We now know that this is 
Yes. Um, Lois. Lois yeah. Hannah. If you look at the newspaper pictures of this lady. So, here, there we go. And this lady. We believe that's Lois Hannah. I do too. We, we sent our thoughts out to her to ask her to come forward because we, we feel that she is, has definitely been around you too. Yes, she has very um, much. So this is what we feel is very significant. The rescue mediums decide to pass on their premonitions surrounding Lois's abductor. She knew who her killer was. Mm -hmm. This person is tall, slim, with dark hair. Where's Denim? Jackie and Christine believe this psychic sketch, made weeks before coming to Burvey, may be linked to Lois's abductor. And it bears some facial similarities to a police sketch of a potential suspect in the case. Jackie and Christine thank Russ and Mary Lynn for letting their home be a channel for this contact with Lois. Oh, this is always the sad part, isn't it? <laughs> Goodbye. And they bid them a fond farewell. <laughs> it was lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me have you.